everyone today i'm back with another makeup video i know i just posted a makeup look not too long ago um which was makeup look chosen by a number generator but this is an idea i've had for a while that i just forgot that i came up with today we are doing a makeup look with the most expensive products i own so i went through all my makeup products i looked them up on ulta and sephora and all the websites it was like, what is the price of this item? Um, so these are the most expensive products that I own that I can do a makeup look with. Obviously, I only have one kind of foundation and concealer and eye primer that is all from ColourPop um, because that's my staple. I don't have any other forms. So I'm gonna do that part off camera, but we do have some skin prep to do, such as primer. We have setting powder and eyeshadow palette. We also have a single shadow here, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but I might. Um, eyeliner, mascara, blush, highlighter, and then I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do lipstick or lip gloss. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do lip gloss, but I have two options to show you guys. And then, I have setting spray. Um, so that's what this look is. It's a makeup look with the most expensive products that I own. Um, some of these products aren't as expensive to some people, but they're expensive to others. Um, most of these products retail for around 30 something dollars, um, but I usually don't buy very expensive makeup. Um, that's one thing about me. Uh, the most expensive brand I buy from is Fenty Beauty, and even then, they're not that expensive. Um, so, this is a look with the most expensive makeup products that I personally own. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like this concept, please let me know, uh, like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I did all my skincare earlier this morning, so this is what my skin looks like right now, and we're gonna go ahead and get started, so let's go! So the most expensive primer I have is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Um, I've had this for a very long time. I actually got this as a sample in an Ipsy bag like years ago. Um, I don't even remember what month it was or when I got it. It was back in 2021. Um, but then I decided to get the full size because I like it a lot, but I haven't used it in a very long time because the main one I use is from ColourPop actually. So I'm gonna see if I still like this. I know it's very moisturizing, which is what I look for in a primer because of being on Accutane, my skin is dry, like very, very dry. So I look for primers that have a lot of moisturizing qualities in them and this one also smells really good the fragrance isn't too strong you actually can't really smell the fragrance until you get like right near your nose which i do like a fragrance sometimes not all the time some fragrances i'm not a big fan of i'm not the biggest fan of coconut but this isn't so strong that i'm like Ugh. um but yeah the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer it's safe for sensitive skin and this retails for 32 dollars this is the full size um it's dermatologist tested, no artificial fragrance, which is good. Um, doesn't list the ingredients on here, which kind of makes me upset. Um, but yeah, that's the primer. I feel, my skin does feel moisturized. Um, it feels like a good base. Um, I would say this is better to wear by itself. It's not like the best primer in the world. I have better primers for a cheaper price, but this is fine for what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of the skin off camera and I'm going to come back and do the setting powder on camera, but I'm not going to use a lot of setting powder. I'm just going to show you the most expensive one I okay, have. Okay, so this is what the skin looks like before powder. I think the foundation laid pretty good over top of the concealer. Keep in mind my skin is very textured right now, so it's not going to look as good as it would if there was like no texture. So the most expensive expensive setting powder I have is actually from Beauty Bakery. It's the flower setting powder and this retails for $24. Um, because I don't use setting powder as much as I used to. I have a setting powder at home, um, which is the Fenty Beauty one and that's probably the most expensive one I actually have, but this is the one I had available. So what I'm gonna do is I took out the sifter of this one because I really hated the sifter. 
I'm just gonna dip in this big fluffy brush, tap off as much excess as I can, and do just like a very light dusting. Well, that's not as light as I wanted it to be. Oopsie. Basically what I'm trying to do is kind of make the foundation look more matte, but also like just make sure everything's set, you know, cause that's, that's how it is. I am making a mess with this powder. It's a very messy powder. I should not have taken the sifter out. Oopsie. My mistakes, my decisions have consequences. I do like how this powder feels. It's just a translucent powder. It's in their shade uh, Oat, but I think this is okay. It's not drying my skin out completely. It's not making my skin look super dry. It's just making it look more matte, which is what I look for. Some setting powders make your skin look super, super dry, where this one just like makes everything look like it's gonna stay on your face. It helps with the color as well, because I feel like my foundation might be a little bit too yellow for me. So this kind of cools it down so it looks more like my skin tone. So that's another reason why I like translucent powders because there's not a lot of color, but it does like lighten it in some ways. So there's that. Now I've made an entire mess. Oh my God, there's so much powder everywhere. Ew, I got it all over my pants, ugh. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. We have something very unique for the eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow palette is from ColourPop, which ColourPop usually has more cheaper stuff, but I'm gonna explain why this palette is so expensive. So ColourPop has this function where you can build your own palette. So you can pick out a shape of palette, either a 12 pan or 24 pan, and pick out single shadows to go in it. So I did that. So this, when you add up all the shadows, is about $46. And look at all the colors. I picked all of these colors out. I was very proud of myself for this palette. Very, very nice. Um, but I'm really confused on what color to do because the blush I have, I'm gonna spoil it for you, is an orange blush. And I'm like, orange looks really good with blue, but to be honest with you, the eye blues I have in here are like dark. So I don't really know. There's a part of me that just wants to do neutral, but I don't want to be like just orange everywhere because that's what it would look like if I just do neutral. So we're gonna try we're gonna try with this dark blue. We're gonna see. So this dark blue, the color is called Backstage. Cute, cute, cute. It's a matte dark blue. Um, has like, I'm gonna see how this looks on me because dark colors are usually not the best move for me, but we're gonna see. Let me, this does not come with a mirror. Let me get my Trixie mirror right here, Miss Trixie Cosmetics, and let's see. Just want to kind of stamp it on so we can see what color we got. It's actually not as dark. I mean, it's kind of a midnight blue, but not like super dark. I think this is gonna work with that orange. I think that'll be nice. Because blue and orange are complementary colors. I believe the complementary colors are red and green, which is why Christmas is so beautiful. Ooh, that is a nice color. That looks nice. I thought it would look bad on me, but it actually looks pretty nice. Um, blue eyeshadow just looks good on me. That's one thing about me is I look good with blue eyeshadow. Um, anyway, the complementary colors are red and green, which is why Christmas is so beautiful. Uh, purple and yellow, actually, which occurs a lot in nature with a lot of flowers. They have purple petals and then a yellow in the middle. That looks really pretty. And then orange and blue look really good together. Um, so if you're wearing like a blue outfit, do like an orange makeup, it just looks good. Or if you're wearing like blue makeup, you could do an orange outfit, it'll look pretty. But some people like doing monochrome, which is fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with monochrome. I actually very much, I mean, I love a monochrome moment. I've done like a million of monochrome moments that you can check out um, in the, I guess this will be part of the makeup looks playlist. So you can watch all of the makeup looks in the makeup looks playlist that are all monochromes, like the red, the orange, the yellow. I've done a lot of monochromes. Um, and I just, I like doing looks like that because it's more interesting to me, plus I know what I'm gonna do. I have a plan. Okay, let's try and do this second eye. Like I said, just kind of stamping the color on and then we'll start swiping. Let's 
trying to get it to at least the midway point. So we're gonna use this blue shimmer shade, which is in the palette, and hopefully those these two colors will work together. Which they should, I'm hoping. Okay, let's put a little bit more down here. I love doing my makeup on YouTube. I just love doing my makeup on general. Like, I just love doing makeup. It's one of my favorite things. I never used to. I never wore makeup in high school. That's one thing about me. I did start wearing makeup until, like, I was in college. And even then, I wouldn't wear makeup very often. I mean, my makeup techniques have definitely changed. Like, the way I do makeup is very different than I used to. I use a lot more products than I used to. But I also try and like pay attention. I don't really follow trends. Um, I know there's certain makeup trends out there, but I don't do them. I kind of just do makeup my own way. I don't like following trends. Um, but yeah, this is our first color. This is that color backstage, this gorgeous midnight blue. And then we're gonna take this blue shimmer shade. And this is called Tide Pool. Makes a lot of sense for a blue shimmer. Okay, and we're just gonna tap in this little flat brush right here. Gonna see if these colors work together in our favor. Okay, tapping out some excess. Placing that on the inner part of the eye. I think that's cute. Doesn't want to get in the inner corner though. Dick. Come on. Work for me. Work for fat. Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. I love blue eyeshadow. I don't wear it a lot, but I do like wearing blue eyeshadow because it's cute. Reminds me of dance. When I was in dance, they had to wear blue eyeshadow during all the numbers. Same makeup for every single number. Blue eyeshadow and red lip. That was the look. Now a little bit of blush. Ooh, that's cute. Blue eyeshadow always looks good. Let me know if you want me to use this palette more. My Build My Own palette, the one I did. I used one of these pink shades the other day and I loved it. This pink shade right here, used that one the other day. But I want to get into this, so let me know if you want me to do some more colors from this palette. So now that we're done with eyeshadow, we can move on to eyeliner, which is always a struggle best for me because I'm terrible at eyeliner, but am I still determined to do it? Yes. Now, am I going to use this eye, this single shadow? I have this single shadow, which is from Laura Mercier in the shade Strapless. Now this is a mini size, so the full size is $32, but I don't know if that would look good with this. I don't know if I want to add it in. I could, I mean, I could add it in, but I feel like it would just ruin it. I mean, blue and gold is pretty, but I don't even know where I would put it on my eye to make it look good. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up and now I'm gonna have to redo it. Now I don't have time to redo it. So, the most expensive eyeliner we have is actually from Fenty Beauty. It's the Fly Liner. This one retails for $24. The other one that is close to this is Lancome and that retails for $23. I didn't realize this was more expensive than Lancome. I thought Lancome was gonna be way more expensive. Um, but this is $24 and we're gonna see if I can do a good look with this because y'all know eyeliner is not good for me. So I think I'm gonna do something different than I usually do. Oh, well, that didn't work out in my favor. I made like a hockey puck. Ew. Oh, that's ugly. Ooh, I don't even know how I fix that. Okay, maybe if I triangle it. Try and make it a triangle. That's not a triangle, bitch. I wasn't good in math class. That's not a triangle, that's a full square. Ugh. What am I doing? Okay. Any way I can make this like pointy. And try and fix it. Nope, still not a point. I'm just making it worse. I'm making it bigger. You know what? Actually, it's kind of a unique shape. I kind of like it. I'm not going to be able to replicate it, by the way. Ooh, this eyeliner fix. She a thick one. Okay, I'm not going to be able to replicate this. Hey, up you go. 
And then try and do the triangle thing. Try and make it pointy. Oh, I made it too thick on this side. There's no precision whatsoever. I mean, they're almost the same, just this one I just need to make that up. I did something. It's not right. It's not okay. It's a mess. It feels so heavy. This li this liner is so heavy and there's so much liquid. I mean, there is a trick where you could put tape over it and remove it, but I don't I don't want to go through all that. I don't want to do that. So, we're just going to deal with this heavy ass eyeliner. It kind of makes sense with the blue dough. It's not the worst it kind of looks like a little, oh, it looks like a little, like a dolphin or a shark tail. Could be cute. I don't know. I don't know. But this, that's what I went with. It, it feels very, very heavy, but we're going to do a bit. Now I'm going to curl my lashes before we put on mascara. Which, the mascara we have is not a mascara I commonly use. I actually haven't used this mascara in a very long time. Most of these products I have not used in a very long time. Cause I kind of forget that I own them. Like some products I use all the time, like my ColourPop stuff I use all the time. But the eyeshadow palette, I never use it because it's at like the bottom of my pile of eyeshadow palettes because it's the largest one and I just forget it exists. But lately what I've been doing, because I did that makeup look using a random number generator, I've been doing that for like all of my makeup looks. So every makeup look I do, I do a random number generator the night before and have it choose what products I'm gonna use. And honestly, it's made me more interested to try more of the products that I own. It's actually way more fun than I thought. Um, but anyway, this is the Bare Minerals Maximist Mascara. Um, that's what we're gonna be using today. It's a very chunky, chunky applicator you see that she's thick okay and we're gonna try and make sure this doesn't completely clump up our lashes but no i mean it will and i'm gonna blink and i'm gonna make a mess we're gonna see woohoo oh Ugh. it's a very thick very wet my hair is sticking to it very thick and wet. That's what she said. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna put any on the bottom lashes. I mean, that looks cute. It does what it does, but she thick and I'm not a big fan of very large wands. That's one thing about me. I prefer a smaller wand. This just feels excessive. Ah. I almost blinked. I got this in gratis at work and a part of me is like I should have just given it to my mom because she would have used this because she she knows a little bit about bare minerals I think she's used like maybe one of their bronzers or something but she saw this and was like oh I kind of want it but I kept it and I should have just given it to her <laughs> anyway I so this retails for $22, which I think makes sense because it is a very large mascara and bare minerals and all of that. But I just, I'm not a big fan of the wand. It's too thick for me. And it just, I got scared I was gonna poke myself in the eye. So this is definitely not something I would recommend. If you have very small eyes, I would say this would be better for like larger eyes. Um, also, I have very hooded eyes, so it's hard for me to keep my eyes open but that's just me. So the blush we're using um, is from Benefit, it is the Butterfly Blush, which is this golden orange blush. Um, this retails for $31. I know, the most expensive blush I have right here. The most expensive blush I have. 
So I'm gonna be very careful with this application. Um, I just washed all my blushes last night, so I'm checking if this one's still wet, which it is a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna do a very minimal amount because I'm very scared because I know these blushes have a megawatt of pigment. Okay, these blushes stay pigmented. So I'm tapping off like as much excess as I can so that I don't get a mega load of pigment. Okay. See, that's it. Just a light dusting of orange. Let me get my mirror. Yeah, just a very minimal amount because I love orange blush. I love how it looks on me, but I just get very scared that it's gonna look gross. So I do a very minimal amount because the eyes are so crazy. I don't want the blush to be crazy as well. So a very minimal amount, tapping off as much excess as I can. Would y'all want me to do ASMR? I don't know if I'd be good at it. I don't know if I'd be good at ASMR. I heard someone say that when you apply blush, you should like press it into your skin instead of swiping, which I like swipe a little bit, but very, very minimal. I don't go like a very light, like sweet, you see, but it's mostly just pressing it in. I don't know who said that, but I heard it somewhere. I mean, I love this blush. I think this is the very first benefit blush I ever bought. And then just fell in love with the benefit blush formula just fell in love. I actually, this eyeliner is growing on me, how crazy it is. So for highlight, we have a staple in my household that I love. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife. This retails for $38. This is my favorite highlighter in the world. I love this one. She's, she's perfect. Every single thing she does. Oh, I didn't put any blush on my nose. Oopsie. You see, there should be some left on this brush. Is there? Yeah, like a little bit. Do, 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 do. Although orange blush on nose seems weird, but I think it works. I think the skin looks really good today. It looks really, really good, so. Maybe that primer did something. Maybe it was the setting powder, I don't know. I think it was the setting powder, that Beauty Bakery one. I know some people don't like it, but I do. So we're gonna go in with Miss Kilowatt from Fenty Beauty. This is my favorite gold highlight. If you wanna know a good gold highlight. Oh, we gotta do setting spray first. Okay. We're gonna do setting spray and then highlight because that's what I've been told to do. So the setting spray we have is actually REM Beauty. This is the Mist Thing Calming Face Mist. And this retails for $24. Um, this is the most expensive setting spray I have. We're gonna shake it well as you should because i've been told you should put on setting spray before you put on highlight that way the highlight looks more shiny mm. i love this setting spray because look how hydrated my skin looks now look how hydrated and it smells good and it's just it's calming it's not too like heavy of a spray where it's like shh, it's like shh. it's like that i love it okay let's go in with miss highlighter miss kilowatt highlighter Trophy wife. Oh, just a little bit of gold on the cheeks and on the nose. See how much shinier that highlighter is after setting spray. See how much shinier. This is one of my favorite makeup tits I've ever gotten. I got this from TikTok and girl, if I could remember the person that said this to me, I would do everything, but this is the best thing you can do is do your setting spray before you do highlight because it makes the highlight look so shiny. Okay. Now, there is a lip debate about what I should do with the lips. So, the most expensive lipstick I have is actually a tinted lip and cheek stain from Benefit, which is this Go Go tint. It's this really pretty, like, cherry red color. I want y'all to see it. See? See, that's cute. But then I have this Lemon Lava from Fenty, which is $24. So yes, it's more expensive. So I was thinking because it's more expensive, we go with the lip gloss rather than lipstick. 
that's what I think would make the most sense. Um, you could say in the comments if I should have chosen lip stain, but I just get scared about lip stains because like, I just get scared of that. Like it just, it just worries me, you know? Let's see. That didn't work. I didn't do it right. That's why it didn't work. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Lemon Lava because it's a little bit more expensive. It's like $3 more. And also it's Fenty. And also with my eyes being so like boom, I want to do a very simple lip. So this is Lemon Lava. This is the Gloss Bomb Heat. I have not used this in a very long time. So we're going to see how this looks. You see, to me, that makes more sense. You know, bright eye, light lip. That's what I prefer. I prefer a bright eye and a light lip. And this just makes more sense to me because it's clear, but it has like a little bit of a gold tint to it, which goes with the gold highlighter. So I think this makes the most sense. Anyway, this is the final look using the most expensive makeup products I have. I actually love this look. The eyeliner is growing on me. I think the skin looks great today. Oh, the skin looks so good today. It doesn't look too dry. That same powder really doesn't dry out your skin. And because that primer is so moisturizing, I think that helped as well. I love these colors. I mean, I chose them, so they're great. This eyeliner is starting to grow on me, the shape. I think it's very interesting. I'm not a big fan of the mascara, to be completely honest with you. The wand is too big for me. I know that sounds so stupid, but it is, it's just too big for me. It, it's harder to control. I get scared I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. That's why I prefer like mini mascaras because the wand is smaller, it's easier to use. For me, this is just excessive. For me, I prefer like the mini mascaras rather than the full size. Um, the blush is gorgeous because it's Benefit and the highlighter looks gorgeous and the lip looks gorgeous. So, I would say this look turned out very, very nicely. I was worried about the combination of the orange with the blue. I was worried that the blues wouldn't look good on me, but they actually really, really do. So I'm very proud of this look. I'm very, very proud. I'm very happy with the decisions that I made. I think everything I used here was great, except for the mascara. So let's do rankings. Okay, let's do like a something through 10, you know? So the primer, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it's so expensive. It's $32 for this really small tube. Um, but I will say it does moisturize my skin. So it is good, I just wouldn't spend the money again. Um, this setting powder, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason I don't like it is because I took the sifter out, so it's really, really messy. I think it helps with my complexion. It doesn't make my skin look too dry. It just makes it look set, and I definitely love that. Um, this palette, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. You wanna know why? Because I picked it myself. But also, I love the option that ColourPop provides. These shades all look really pretty. Let me know if you want me to delve more into this palette. I definitely will. The eyeliner, I'm going to give this a seven. I mean, it's black and it's thick, but for me, it's really, really heavy and way too thick and just too much liquid. So I would say it's like, it's not the eyeliner I'm always reaching for. I hardly ever reach for this one, but it's okay. The mascara is a five out of 10. Does it mean my mascaras look pretty? Kinda. Is it the best mascara out there? No. It, the wand for me is way too big. It just feels like it's overcompensating. It, it's just not for me. Um, the butterfly blush from Benefit, I'm going to give this a wonderful nine out of 10. I wanna tell you why, because, okay. So the reason I give this a nine out of 10 and not 10 out of 10 is because you barely put your brush in it's very very pigmented so it's really hard to work with because i get scared that i'm gonna put too much on so that's why it gets point off but the formula is gorgeous the color is gorgeous the packaging is gorgeous and i've had this for a while and just i love it you can still kind of see the word butterfly which is cute 
I like that the name is printed out. I know that's really expensive for a lot of companies is to like do those laser prints into the shadows and they're all unique because it's all different names. So I know that's really expensive. The highlighter of course is a 10 out of 10. It's Fenty, it's Kilowatt, it's, it's Trophy Wipe. It's this gorgeous gold. It looks great on my skin and I just love this. And then the lip gloss, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 because it's kind of burning a little bit, but I think that's because I have a wound on my lip, which makes perfect sense. It's like the heat one, so it's lip plumper, so it has like a couple different ingredients. Um, it is a little bit sticky, I'll say that, um, but it's not the worst lip gloss in the world. Um, I do like that it's clear with a little bit of a tint. I just went to sh the tint was a little bit stronger because to me, there's not enough gold in this one. I just, I see other people using these lip glosses and it feels like there's so much more color. Maybe mine is just old. I don't know, I've had this one for a really long time and maybe mine is just old and expired, I don't know. Um, but that's, um, that's an 8 out of 10. The setting spray, I am gonna give this a 10 out of 10. It makes my skin look really hydrated. It smells good. It's very calming. I, 10 out of 10. So overall, we had a very good look today. I would say my only main issue was the mascara, um, in my opinion, was just not my fave. I, this is the second Bare Minerals. I only have two Bare Mineral products. Uh, that mascara and I have a lipstick that I need to try. I can't wait to try it because I really, really want to. Um, it's, um, I kind of want to do a look with my cheapest products, which would basically just be a full face of Colourpop to be completely honest. Although, yeah, let me think. Yeah, it would basically just be a full face of ColourPop if I do, um, the cheapest look would be a full face of ColourPop, pretty much. Um, I don't have that mascara anymore, so I need to take that off the list because I threw it away because it was dry. Um, so yeah, if I did a full face of cheap brands, it would basically just be, uh, ColourPop. Just be ColourPop, wouldn't be any other brands. Um... Which kind of sucks that it would only be ColourPop, but I don't mind that. But I don't want to do just a full face of ColourPop like I've already done, you know? Um, so let me know what makeup looks you want to see next. Um, do you want to see more of this eyeshadow palette? Let me know because I do want to try this out more. Do you want to see different colors? Do you want me to do a full face of another color? I've done red orange yellow i've done neon green i've done gold i've done purple i've done pink i've never done blue um blue would be a little bit more complicated to, um to do an all blue look i've kind of attempted it with a few makeup looks i've kind of almost done a full blue look um but it's kind of impossible to do a full blue look because i don't really have products that would work for that um because I mean blue blush I don't I don't know where I'm gonna find that I could probably find it but don't know where um NYX probably has it because NYX has crazy shit um what do you other things I want to say I want you to yeah comment what videos you want to see next uh hit the notification bell for a new video as soon as this one reaches double digit views thank you so much for the support of my last video I have no idea what video that was um to be completely honest with you and um, follow the social media links in the description below. There is Instagram, there is TikTok, there is Tumblr, there is my fandom Tumblr, there's my other Tumblr, and there is Twitter. If you wanna see more videos from me, you can check out my TikTok because I do make shorts there where I do makeup or skincare or I just do a funny little video with a filter to be completely honest with you. Um, what else do I need? I would like you to check out my last makeup look video. I have no idea what it was. Um, it's not the makeup chosen videos because that's in their own playlist. This is a different thing. So it might be a full face. I don't know. Um, and then over here is going to be my makeup looks playlist. This is not going to be a full face of my most expensive brands. That would be a completely different video. This is just makeup look with the most expensive brands that I own. I would probably, I, I want to do more full faces of makeup. There's a lot of brands I want to do. I want to do Milani. I want to do NYX, ELF. 
Um, maybe L'Oreal, maybe Maybelline, I don't know. I would do milk makeup, definitely. Um, Urban Decay, maybe, because I've never tried Urban Decay. I really want to do a brand I've never tried before, so let me know if I should do a full face of any of those brands, or any brands that you like. Um, I've already done Fenty Beauty, I've already done REM Beauty, I've already done ColourPop, so those brands are done. Any other brand you want to see, let me know. I do want to do House Labs. I actually really do, because House Labs just released uh, powder blushes but I kind of want to wait until their brand has a few more products because there's some things there where I'm like I don't know about that you know I want to wait until House Labs is like a little bit more developed because they just released powder blushes so I want to wait until they're a little bit more established like have a few more products and then I'll do a full face at that um but let me know what you want to see and I'll make that video for you so uh please check out my last makeup look and the makeup looks playlist and you can hit subscribe right up here thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye